Murder thefts are a big problem in Hawaii. Recently, seven converters were stolen from city vehicles at Kapolei Hale. Sarah Madison spoke to experts about what you can do to keep it from happening to you. If you look under the belly of a car, this is what a catalytic converter looks like, and thieves steal it for the precious metals inside. A catalytic converter removes the toxic gases from the exhaust emission, and without it, your car could sound something like this. The thieves know already which ones are more valuable, but a converter can be worth any place from $125 to $500. Young also says there's a backlog for catalytic converters as the priority goes to supplying new cars. If you call the aftermarket, all the parts stores, nobody has one, and even the dealers are backlog. Sergeant Chris Kim of Crime Stoppers tells us stealing a converter takes only a matter of minutes, and thieves tend to work in pairs or groups, with one acting as a lookout. He says thieves may sell the stolen device to a metal recycler or third-party vendor. And sometimes we're hearing stories of people actually stealing these catalytic converters and then selling it to people who've also been victimized when they had the catalytic converter stolen. For one recycling company, Schnitzer Steel, they tell us their policies mandate that converters can only be purchased from a licensed commercial business. Representative Jackson Sayama says lawmakers were working on a measure earlier this year that would have increased penalties and placed additional safeguards to prevent the sale of stolen catalytic converters. He believes it died because with so many proposals addressing the pandemic, the Senate had to prioritize. Until then, Sergeant Kim suggests folks invest in an alarm system or another deterrent. There are actually different type of coverings or cages that um, can be installed to protect that area. Honestly, our theory is something is better than nothing, right? Other steps you can take include parking in well-lit and traveled areas and checking your vehicle periodically. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.